So, welcome to Weld.com. Today we have Nick Kaiser, the winner in the pro division of the virtual competition, and he's excited to get something going here today. We're going to do a demo of some TIG aluminum plate welding in an octagon that he's going to do in a mirror. So I'm excited to watch this guy. He's really talented. What do you think about it, Nick? For one, I'm grateful to be here. Um, becoming a member of that Weld.com was the best decision I've ever made in my life right there. Uh, that competition was awesome. And I'm super happy to be here right now and put on some great welds for you guys. Great. And uh, so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna start this off by just running some simple welds on the outside, making them beautiful, making them look super pretty. And then we're gonna pull out this mirror right here. And we're gonna end up uh, welding from the inside. We're also gonna stand this object up. Right. And we're gonna put that mirror back and try to make it even more difficult and see how it comes out. I'm hoping for a win. Well, we're going to see how it goes, right? Right. Oh, we're going to have fun doing this. So he's, he's really challenging himself to this because he knows he's a good welder and he's going to lay down some nice beads. So let's get to welding this thing out. What do you think? I'm ready to rock and roll. I don't know. Let's have some fun. I'm telling you. Let's, let's do have it. some fun. So today we're going to use the Miller Dynasty 280 to do some aluminum TIG welding. And of course, we're going to start up with the polarity, which is on AC. So the process on, is the high freak, the TIG high freak. And the output is the RMT standard. And we'll go to the pulser that we're not using. And we're not using the sequencer. So the gas and the dig, we've got the post, post flow on 3T and we have the pre on 0.2T. So we'll go over to the AC wave shape and the balance is set on 75%. And we'll go down to the frequency, which is set on 120 hertz. So, and we got it turned up to 225 amps. So now, I got something for you. All right. You get rid of that cap. Try this one on. Whoo, is this one of those Como caps That's I've heard so much about? Cap. Protect yep. this pretty head of mine. There you go. Oh, Man, it look at that like thing. a glove, too. I bet I look like a model. Man, look at that thing shine. Yeah. Yeah, Como. I love it. Thanks to Como. Thanks for the hats. Thank you. I love it. All right, so before we tack this up, we're gonna clean it off a little bit. We got the stainless steel uh, wire brush, and we also got our little piece here. We're gonna scrape in one direction uh, to make sure we're not burying any contaminants back into that aluminum. Once we get done with that, we're gonna hit with some acetone as well. That's just gonna come out with a prettier looking weld without the black floaties that you get from the contaminants. I'm gonna get back to it. So hey Nick, I'm gonna help you with the hey, prepping hey. process. Okay. I'm gonna take this acetone and wipe off all the pieces you already used Thank the wire you. brush on. Thank you. And I'm gonna take the acetone too and wipe down all the filler wire. That way we get nice clean welds. No sooty black in the weld that we don't want. Helps out tremendously. It does. Yep. And also we're using the lanthanated tungsten, which you prefer. Yeah, you know what? Way back when I used to use the green tungsten like right. everybody else, you know, I'd get that nice big ball on there. Um, I switched over to the brown, even use some gray on there. But right. you know what? Now I just like using the blue. We're running the eighth inch um, lanthanated today right. and it's laying them down like butter. Great. Yep. Let's get going. Let's get it. So the wire that Nick's using today is the Bowler 4043 TIG wire, 332 diameter with an AWS spec of A5.10. All right, so I got the pieces all prepped, all clean. The metal's good to go. We're about to tack it up right now. Um, so let's get it together so we can throw some nice welds down. Hey, check this out. You'll need this. Uh, whoa, ho, ho. What do we got here? That's your prize jacket, man. You got to wear the prize jacket. Ooh, a nice Lincoln Electric one. I love nice. it. Nice. Nice leather sleeves on there. I like the colors. Let's see how she fits. Ooh, that's like a glove right there. Love it. Now we can get down to business.
So as you can see, we now have the part all tacked up. So what we're going to do from here, since we have it all tacked up, we have it uh, strapped down so it's not going to warp. I'm going to go around and we're going to weld all these verticals on the inside and the outside. And that's going to give it more strength to when we're applying all this heat on here, it's not going to warp and fall apart. And so let's get to it. Let's weld her up. So in the beginning of the video, Nick really talked about doing some mirror welding and through the day, things just weren't working out for him. So he was kind of stressed out. When it come time to do the mirror welding, Nick wasn't up to it. So that's why we didn't do it. So we'll talk about a little bit of the welding that we did today or you did today, you know, Ooh. and, and uh, you know, about the improvements that we did and little changes that we made, which really weren't drastic, you know, with the perimeters or anything, just yep. with the gas flow. And you can really see the difference, you know, when you started the first one here and the second one, we started changing the gas flow. You see, you know, something just doesn't seem right. So we started messing with the gas a little bit, giving it a little, went from what, start at 25 CFH? At uh, 25, yeah, and, right where it should be. Yeah. And we ended up at like 45. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, you really see the difference, how much cleaner it looks, and, and it welded a lot better. Just like you said, you know, you felt better about it. Yep. And, um, you know, it looks, I see you can, you can weld aluminum, buddy, you know? So you're having a rough day, you it's, said. And, uh, out of your element not like, in your garage you know so like we're talking yeah. i give you guys props for coming out here because okay somebody could talk about it until you get here <laughs> and, and you got the cameras on you and it's a whole different animal i give you right. mad props right. for that Thank a lot you. of respect that it's tough i folded, <laughs> I folded. <laughs> <laughs> now i think you did all right man you know you had a long flight and long day but um you know the outcome come out really good and, and um you know, before we get off of here, I want to show show all these prizes that you want to show the audience. I need a smile put on my you know? face, Paul. I so need it we'll so bad right now. We'll, we'll push this aside and roll out the prizes and like that steampunk hood. What do you think about that thing? This I mean, thing has got to be the prettiest thing I've ever seen. That's a pretty. That's a cool looking hood. It is, and yep. I mean, it's crystal clear. You can see everything through it. It's got a ton of different settings on the inside as well. I mean, it's just a beauty. Lincoln did a good job with this. Great. Yep. I'm glad you're happy with it. Oh, gosh. Dun, 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 to the grand oh, prize my goodness. winner. Look at all this stuff right here. Look at the grand prize winner, man. So we got you the, the 360 power MIG, the steampunk hood. Yep, yep. I see we got the Lincoln, an Abacore hat right yep, here. The Lincoln Look. jacket. One of those slap packs. A pair of st black stain gloves. Some beautiful gloves, too. A well.com embroidery. I'm going to have to patch that on something. A beautiful backpack nice too. Back. Yeah. So what do you oh, think? And this awesome well.com sweatshirt as well. <laughs> I just got hooked up. You did. It's been an experience. I'll tell everybody that right now. It's been one wild ride the whole way between the competition and coming here today. Like I said, Paul, yeah. mad respect for getting on here and doing this every day <laughs> and you know, keeping it together because it's a lot tougher than it looks for sure. Thanks for coming out, Nick. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Had a lot of fun. It was awesome. You want some awesome prizes? They're beautiful. Yep. Thank you. So thanks for watching today. If you have questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us. Well.com forward slash forum. And if you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, join our channel and support the well.com community. See you on the next one.